So you're going to go ahead and put less than 20% down and uh, you don't want to pay mortgage insurance. You don't want to pay that property mortgage insurance because it's going to kill you and it's, you just don't want to go ahead and deal with it. Is there any other options? Well, yeah, it's called a piggyback second. What's going on guys? Omar here, broker and CEO of Alden Mortgage and Ome Realty. So we have a lot of people that come in and they're like, you know, how do I avoid PMI? Now PMI is just insurance that you have to pay on top of your mortgage to go ahead and get whatever it is because you're putting less than 20% down, whether you're an FHA, you're, you know, you're doing 10% on the conventional side and you're going below the threshold and you have to pay mortgage insurance and you want to just say, you know what, forget it. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to be bothered by it. How do I get around that? Because my money is just getting spent and burned because I have to pay insurance on this on this loan for for no reason whatsoever. Which is it's it's really not insurance. It's uh, on some of it it is. Um, you do there's insurance you have to pay, but you know you don't want to deal with it. You're always able to go in and go and do a piggyback second. Now what's a piggyback second? A piggyback is just at the end of it it's just going to be two loans conjoined into one uh, some people might actually know it as a down payment assistance some people might know it as a down payment assistance and some people might know it as a picky bag but whatever you want to call it simplest form of letting you know what it is it's just one loan in joining with another loan. So you have your Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, FHA, VA. VA you actually could do 100%, so you don't even need to worry about that. But FHA, whatever it is, you have that one loan joined with another loan. So let's go ahead and get to the criteria of this exact loan and what you would need to know. So as far as the loan product itself, there's gonna be limits to it. So the limit to the amount that you're able to go ahead and borrow is gonna be capped at $500,000. Now, do you need a down payment that big to have an assistance? I mean, of course, you are definitely going to need to talk to your financial advisor to kind of see exactly where you sit and what you really, really need because or sit down with the missus or the mister or whatever it is that you want to go ahead and call yourself and crunch some numbers or talk to your broker like this guy and let me know and we can kind of see if this is actually worth it for you. Uh, FICO, your FICO is going to have to be at a bare minimum of 680 and or above or else this you cannot qualify it's not going to work it's just it's not going to happen because this is going to be for people who are just you know that need that extra little bit of boost and that little boost is going to get them into whatever they have maybe you have money coming in and you could go ahead and pay that off really really quickly or, or whatever the case may be then the next part is, is there gonna be a prepayment penalty on this? No, there is absolutely no prepayment penalty on it and I highly encourage anybody who does this and that is including any type of mortgage insurance or um, loans that have like, you know, a second that is attached to it uh, or whatever the loan product might be, always refinance out of that and put yourself into a primary conventional one just so you don't have to worry about paying that additional amount into an addition. Then the next step is going to be like, hey, Omar, what's the interest rate on one of those? Well, depending on the time, now I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now, depending on the time that you go ahead and apply, it could change, but we are in February 2022. Right now, we're between six and a half to eight percent. Now, considering your, your total credit, um, it does increase little by little as, as your uh, FICO does drop lower. If you're at the bare minimum 680, it's going to be at the highest at like eight, eight and a half. And then as you go higher in credit score, your FICO might be like at 750 to 800. Then of course it drops down significantly. So take that in mind. I, do, I just, I write the loans. I don't fund the loans. I am not the money guy. I am the money guy to find you ways to get money, but I'm not the money guy to actually give it out of my own pocket and give to you, which we do do, which I'll get into another video on that one. Stay tuned for that. But now the second part is going to be like, hey, Omar, well, how do you calculate that? Well, let's go ahead and go to your debt to income. So uh, to calculate the debt to income on this piggyback second is going to be, it's a very complex way of actually uh, uh, doing it. We, we don't. <laughs> we don't we don't we don't calculate your debt to income at all it's mainly based off of your fico and it's mainly best off of the loan uh loan to value on the property uh loan to value uh, depending on the time that that we have it what kind of property it is you know it varies very very much between you know 85 to 95 percent loan to value 
loan to value just means that it's like, you know, how much are we taking out versus how much the value of the house is actually worth. Now, considering the way that inflation in the market has been going right now and the home prices, I mean, right now it's really, really good. Will it stay like that? I don't, I don't, I don't know. We're going to kind of have to wait and see how the whole market does to kind of figure that part out of it because, you know, the market's a little funky. I'm not going to lie. It's not sugarcoated. It's a little funky. But we'll, we'll, know, we'll know better at the end of 2022 exactly where the market stays. So as far as the income goes, this is going to be a complex one too. Yeah, we don't, we don't, we don't care about the income either. We, 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 we don't care about the income at all. Not even a little bit. Like I said before, this doesn't mean anything with your, with your debt to income. We don't care about your total income that you have. We really, it's a stated income. And I know, I know, trust me, I know. A lot of you are probably gonna watch this video and be like, what is this? Like pre-2008 again? Is this gonna be the crash? No, these are really, really good loans because this is not like before where we're putting down like 2%, 3% and then all of a sudden now we're just like, you know, we're covering the rest of it. You're gonna have some skin to the game and we also have thresholds of the loan to value that we went ahead and that we need. And uh, if anything happens, well, we just sell that property off. Which, anybody notice that Zillow's selling a lot of properties? Like a ton. Not gonna lie, I know this is a little off topic, but and uh, I'm doing a, a purchase right now in Sacramento County and there are 1,200 homes that Zillow bought and lost. Yeah, well, anyway, let's get on with this loan product a little bit more. Now this loan will have to close at the same time as the first one closes. So your second home loan will have to, which is the second on the property, the second part of the mortgage, which is, a second, a subordinate financing, will will be closing in at the same time as the other one closes. Now this part, and I want you to pay attention, this is the part where I highly encourage that whoever is watching this video, and if I am originating this loan, if I'm doing the loan for you, or whoever is doing the loan for you, you're gonna have to refinance out of this loan. This is just to assist you into getting into the property. Anything that we have in order to go ahead and assist you to get in the property, that's what we're here for. If that's what you really, really want. And we will talk to you about if this is actually a viable financial decision for you to make. But of course, I'm not a financial advisor and I cannot tell you what you should or shouldn't do with your money. I will only, and this is this goes across the board for every single person that is in the real estate mortgaging industry we will approve you for the max amount. You get to choose what amount you actually purchase for. I do not tell you, I am not here to tell you what to do. If you ask me for my opinion, I will only give you an opinion based off of facts in your immediate area. I will not tell you anything else like, oh yeah, you know, this person's in office or this political thing is happening or this is happening or speculative thinking, no. I will only give you the information that I have on hand at that time based off of our analysis for over the course of a year and then you get to make the decision based off of yourself. Now this part that I'm telling you is the reason why you have to refinance out of it once you go ahead and get it. This is interest only like a home equity line of credit, right? This is almost like a home a, a HELOC that just comes straight into your bank account. You get to do whatever, except you're doing your draw all at once. Now this is 10 years interest only. You pay the interest only on this, so your mortgage payments are gonna be a little bit less. Now, that principal balance is still going to remain at the same amount that we initially that we initially assumed, right? So after we go ahead and get to our 10 year, the only difference between this loan and a HELOC is, is that HELOCs go to an adjustable mortgage. Now there are fixed ones, uh, but this is not one of those. Now there are fixed ones. Now the fixed ones are actually just going to be, you know, at a higher interest rate. So this is kind of like a, a fixed home equity line of credit where you pay your interest for 10 years and then you get hit at a higher rate for the next 20 years. But you don't want to stay here. 
you want to just do this enough to get yourself into the property that you want to get into and then once you get into the property that you want to go and get to then you can put yourself in a more even stable like you know uh loan terms or just go to interest only all the way afterwards and and pay for the best after that and hopefully rates don't increase that much which by the way rates are increasing um maybe about seven times 2022 so keep that in mind as well don't overextend yourself don't go crazy just because i tell you that you're able to qualify for eight hundred thousand dollars or even a million dollar home does not mean that you should go and be purchasing a million dollar home don't yell at me for what i do because you asked me to do it yeah so if you like the content or if you do need any help with any mortgaging assistance at all now we do do business loans we do do uh, construction loans we do um, uh, home equity line of credits every single mortgage product that you could possibly imagine at least I think we do almost all of them uh, except Indian reservations we don't touch Indian loans and I hate I mean I do do them I do do them we do do mobile homes okay but do I like to do them no no I, I don't it's it, it, for such a low amount we have to charge you enough to go ahead and get you into the into the mobile home and it's just so much work with the foundation requirements and the years it was built and then as a trying to track to see if it ever had a license plate or any of that other stuff it's just so frustrating and so annoying uh, but we do do them so if you need help with one of those link in the description below let us know we also have great programs to where we give up to 50 percent commission rebate on your next purchase and zero percent listing on your home in california that's right you heard let me say it again let me say it again zero percent listing fee so instead of sitting there trying to figure out how you're going to sell the house on your own well, give us a call let us know how we can go ahead and help you well hopefully you like the content like subscribe dislike whatever you want to do it doesn't really matter just do something until next video guys thank you very much for watching